Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Mm, thank you for being here today. If you're new, I'm Carrie. I am a matchmaker and a dating coach in the Chicago area. And I've done a couple episodes so far on virtual dating, but I wanted to touch base today and fill you in on the amazing success rate that I've been having with the virtual dating. I mean, we're still in the midst of COVID. In fact, we're having peaking of numbers all over the country. And if you have not yet jumped onto the virtual dating bandwagon or you were tried it and stopped for a while, thought it wasn't for you. I just wanted to share the experience that, that some of my clients are having and how much better the feedback has been on virtual dates and how much more quick. Well, you know what? Stick around. That's what we're talking about today. If that's interesting, that's what's up. So after a date, I send out a feedback form to clients and ask them, matchmaking clients, and I ask them, do you want to see this person again? And then they have to rate the date, among other things, whether it was pretty close, not great, pretty close, or awesome is one of the options. And I have had more awesome, awesome matches on virtual dates. A higher proportion of those dates have come back as awesome awesome than any in-person dating that I've done in five years. So for that reason alone, I would recommend that you try virtual dating if you have yet to experience what this is all about. Now I think, I have some theories, and I think that maybe one of the reasons is the comfort level of being in your own home. Secondly, I think maybe there's fewer distractions. And I think that somehow people are able to get to a better part of the conversation. You know, I don't know if you saw the episode on skipping the first date and going straight to the second date. I'll link to it right here. But getting past the first date kind of conversations, those things that you tell about yourself, that you just get tired of your own voice if you've gone on more than two dates in the last month. It's like, oh, I've got to tell this again. And I think that you can dispense of that rather quickly when you're relaxed, sitting in a comfy chair, talking to somebody, and there's kind of no pressure. And you can talk about ideas and thoughts and go off topic. It just seems much more natural, even for people whose tendency is to not be super outgoing or super gregarious. So either than my peep, my clients who I would consider to be more introverted have been able to overcome that shyness even more easily on virtual dates. And that could be part of the success. One of the interesting things I've seen is that after I get those feedback forms, I do get on the phone with both the person my client went on a date with and then my client to have a kind of a post-date conversation or a debriefing, so to speak. And I feel like I, by the time I get to those conversations, but you know, a day or two goes by, they complete their form, a day goes by or two goes by, and then we can finally find time to connect by telephone. And I feel that on a majority of those phone conversations, the couple will share with me that they have since the virtual date met in person and on top of that, they have plans for the upcoming weekend. That's happened like more times than not when I'm doing feedback on virtual dates. So that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to give you a little update on how the virtual dating is going in my world with clients. And I wanted to, again, share with you the idea that I know it's not easy to gauge chemistry on a virtual date, but this isn't meant to keep you from ever meeting this person in person. This is meant to give you an introduction to this person in a comfortable surrounding in a comfortable manner so that you can just gauge whether a second date is in order. So if you've done virtual dating, leave me a comment down below and let me know how that's working for you. If you thus far have been intimidated by or uninterested period for any reason in giving it a shot, let me know down below that maybe I've changed your mind, made you think twice about the success you could perhaps expect from meeting someone in video. But make sure that if you are gonna do the Zoom dating that you watch the video, everything you need to know about virtual dating. Because 
you don't want to have horrible lighting and horrible angles and be rushing around last minute trying different things and and also it gives you some ideas on how to think outside the box so i'll link that at the end of this episode I am glad you stopped by today to check in. I want everybody out there dating, if they can, to meet new people, and virtual is the way to go right now. Please subscribe, hit that ring bell, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, have a good one.